two mortar shells landed in the government-controlled area of Aleppo city in northern Syria on Tuesday, 16 hours after a nationwide truce went into force. But according to the Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the ceasefire was mostly holding across Syria at the start of its first full day on Tuesday. The observatory said it had not recorded a single civilian death from fighting in the 15 hours since the ceasefire came into effect at 1600 GMT on Monday. Meanwhile, around 20 trucks carrying aid have crossed into northern Syria from Turkey. The Turkish government says it aims to send trucks of food, children's clothes and toys to Aleppo. Our correspondent Ala Ibrahim has more from Damascus. Uh, uh, consequences could happen. The situation is now very complicated. As far as the truce uh, is involved, uh, the Syrian Ministry of Defense also issued another statement accusing rebels and armed groups of violating the ceasefire at least two times in the province of Aleppo, north of the country. Uh, on the other hand, the Free Syrian Army issued a statement uh, saying that if government forces were to violate the, the truce or the ceasefire, then they would retaliate and they would not, re uh, they would not just count the violations of the government. But uh, up till now, it seems that the ceasefire more or less is holding. But as I said before, with the new development, the new political development, with the downing of the Israeli fighter jet, everything uh, could change now.